governments continue to pay lip service to the importance of volunteering but ultimately deny it official recognition. There is an African proverb that says, till the lions have their historians, tales of hunting will always glorify the hunter. It might be thought that, as they grow towards adolescence, people give up childhood play, but this is not so. There are pressures within the museum that cause it to emphasize what happens in the galleries over the activities that take place in its unseen zones. In consequence, a high degree of risk aversion frequently marks out that a successful radio music programmer. I believe that stories not the ones people tell us, but the ones we tell ourselves determine nothing less than our personal and professional destinies. With this administrative management system, urban institutions of government have evolved to offer increasing levels of services to their citizenry, provided through a taxation process and or fee for services, e.g., police and fire, street maintenance, utilities, waste management, etc. It is the students who decide whether or not to reconstruct their conceptions, therefore, teaching should be student-centered rather than teacher-centered. The mathematical theory of probability hasn't eliminated risk, but it allows us to manage that risk more effectively. Put your pair on and walk outside for just a moment. Despite industrialization and mass production, repair still requires a comprehensive understanding of design, materials, and the designer's intentions. It's risky to go off on their own to try something new that will probably not be successful right from the start. Insofar as they agree with the underlying concept or idea, thus possessing the precision that the ancient Greeks sought and celebrated geometrical shapes can be grasped, but they do not give rise to emotion, and, most importantly, they do not move the imagination to free and new, mental, lengths. Certain hindrances to multifaceted creative activity may lie in premature specialization, i.e., having to choose the direction of education or to focus on developing one ability too early in life. One of the biggest misconceptions about becoming self-confident is that it means living fearlessly. By making the self public in a private sphere, the self also became an object for self-inspection and self-critique. Participate in your story rather than observing it from afar, make sure it's a story that compels you. They need to know a little about shape, but not in great detail. Cats and exotic or unusual animals, unless confined to a small area, are not usually discovered or reported. That shadow is cast by our actions, because there is always the possibility that others will find out what we have done. But, in fact, the moral questions of taxation are at the very heart of the creation of tax laws. Sensations from your heart and lungs, your metabolism, your changing temperature, and so on, are like ambiguous blobs. Current efforts have begun, aimed at collecting such energy in smaller devices which can store it, such as portable batteries. The difficulties of gathering and coding visual data and of attributing impact to specific parts of images have no doubt caused veritable scholars to shy away. Money for services is not a replacement for citizen responsibility and public participation. Given the level of anonymity with all that resides on the internet, it's sensible to question the validity of any data that you may receive. Putting humans at risk if the study design does not permit a reasonable expectation of valid findings is never ethical. Self-perceptions are altered during the course of a performance, and even more so during long performance seasons. And at worst, as museums pour more and more resources into their publicly visible faces, the spaces of storage may even suffer, their modernization being kept on hold or being given less and less space to house the expanding collections and serve their complex conservation needs. Considerable work by cultural psychologists and anthropologists has shown that there are indeed large and sometimes surprising differences in the words and concepts that different cultures have for describing emotions as well as in the social circumstances that draw out the expression of particular emotions. Children get to learn freely about their particular environment, without worrying about their own survival, caregivers look after that. Our experiences make us feel alive and give us greater opportunities to grow. With the eye sockets at the back of the head and on the side, it can see nearly 360 degrees around itself. Likewise, many of the written forms we encounter at school and at work, from exams and evaluations, to profiles and case studies, to essays and proposals, are really social exchanges put on paper and addressed to some imagined listener or interlocutor. 
The most erroneous stories are those we think we know best and therefore never scrutinize or question, said paleontologist Stephen J. Gould. Then tell him to keep his eyes closed and move his fingers over the object. All this happens in a matter of minutes but is a natural defense mechanism that we perform in the real world. At every step in our journey through life we encounter junctions with many different pathways leading into the distance. From an aching stomach, your brain constructs an instance of hunger, nausea, or mistrust. Well, loyalty is not identical to stupidity. However, there is historical evidence that the creative process can be set in motion without necessity, even in the domain of invention. Having said that, it has been estimated that volunteering contributes about $42 billion a year to the Australian economy. You are not morally obliged to support someone who is making the world a worse place. Furthermore, part of the pleasure comes from having one's comfort zone momentarily violated. On an antelope's skull, the eye sockets are situated on the side of the head. As Edmund Burke observed two centuries ago, men are qualified for civil liberty in exact proportion to their disposition to put moral chains upon their own appetites. Each of these parties owns a stick in the bundle. We can become experts in some areas, like speaking a language or knowing our favorite foods, simply by living our lives, but in many other domains expertise requires considerable training and effort. This is a strong schematic violation, and so the composer rewards and soothes us by bringing the melody back toward home again, but not by too much because he wants to continue to build tension. For example, people report more happiness and life satisfaction on sunny days, but only when they are not explicitly asked about the weather.